How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Foot to 4 once again. It's finally time for a video all about update 13. Just finished watching the live stream, so in today's video I'm going to be telling you everything you know about all the new features coming in update 13, all the new cars, when it's coming, and also possibly what we could see in the next update as well. But if you want a brief and detailed explanation of what's going to be in this update, then this video is perfect. I'm going to try to make it not make it too long. We're going to fly through all of the features so you don't miss a single thing. And at some point this week, you can also expect a live stream on this channel of us playing Update 13 right as it's released, taking a look at the new cars and features and stuff like that. So please do consider subscribing to the channel if this video helps you out. First of all, let's get into all of the new cars we are going to be seeing this week with Update 13. Now, I'll say off the bat, this month is quite strange. There's not as many features as there has been in the past updates, but car-wise, it's quite interesting, and you'll see what I'm on about in a minute. But, onto the new cars and onto this month's festival playlist. For the whole series this month, a 50% completion, you'll unlock the Porsche 906 from 1966. It's the first new car from this update. It's a very Porsche-themed update, so expect a lot of Porsches but that is the first brand new car. I apologize if I'm looking down like that every now and then. That's where I'm reading the new cars from. And at 80% completion, you'll unlock the Porsche 911 GT1, which is not a new car, but it's quite exciting. The first week, which starts this Thursday, which is summer, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the Twin Mill, just a Hot Wheels car. At 80% completion, you'll unlock the Porsche Carrera, also not a new car. However, there are two exclusive championships this upcoming week, starting Thursday for summer, which gives us two new cars. One of them is the Porsche 917 LH, a very race type car. I'm looking forward to this one. This is the long tail version. Looks awesome. And the other one is something that I guessed in my video a couple days ago. The Ital Design Zero Uno from 2018. This is another car that we're going to get in this week as well on Thursday. So that is three new cars so far. The second week, which is awesome, at 50% completion you'll get the Ford Focus Jim Carner. Very nice car, it's quite already been in the game, but it's rare, so it's alright. And then at 80% completion you'll get the Porsche 718, the very old version of it. This is also a new car, so that's four new cars so far. And then that same week, in autumn, the second week, there is an exclusive championship for another new car, the Porsche 356 SL. Another picture on the screen of that. So there's one new car obtainable from the full series, there's two in the first week, and there's another two in the second week. Pretty good. So, so far, that's five new cars in this update. Unfortunately, this is where things get weird. They couldn't actually show us what we're getting in the winter week or the spring week, which is week three and four. They could show us summer and autumn, but not winter and spring. And they said this is because they're not allowed to show us yet. There's something exclusive happening in either winter or spring that they cannot show us. Probably both weeks, actually. Now, there is a sixth new car coming, which is the Porsche Cayman GTS, a very new version of it, picture on screen. They couldn't show us where this has come from because you could probably get this car in winter or spring. So that's a sixth new car this month as well. But they did actually tell us that this update, all of these new festival playlists and this update is coming out tomorrow on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, we're going to be able to go into the festival playlist and see exactly what they've been hiding in winter and spring. So make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for a video or a live stream seeing what's in winter and what's in spring because we don't know that yet. Probably a lot more new cars. So, so far we've got all the new cars. We've got six new cars, not including ones which are potentially in winter and spring. We'll find out tomorrow exactly what they're hiding. I'm quite excited to be honest. But now onto the features, which is honestly nothing. Honestly, they've not really added anything new feature-wise or update-wise this month. However, something they did show us is new additions to the route creator. They have added the ability to edit checkpoints within your route creator. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're creating a route creator route. You've got to the end, you're test driving it, and you've realized, hmm, that's wrong. I don't like that. Let's say that your start point is here. You make a checkpoint there. You make a checkpoint there. You keep going, and the finish line is there. The way you edit it is you pick a checkpoint Let's say I pick this checkpoint, you then have the ability to delete everything that's in front of that checkpoint, but keep what you've done before it. You unfortunately can't go to a checkpoint in the middle, edit it, and everything else be the same. You have to go back to a checkpoint, 
and then start again from there instead of starting from the beginning again, if that makes sense. So if you're doing like a 20 mile race, for example, and 15 miles in, you've screwed up, you can go to the 15 mile point, click start again, and you'll start from the 15 mile point. You won't lose all your progress. So that's a new root creator edition they're doing. And you're also able to edit the width or the um, length or whatever you call it of the checkpoints if you wish as well. Now, unfortunately, they did say this only works for new routes. You can't go, once you've published a route, you can't go back and edit it, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's how it is. And unfortunately, this root creator stuff isn't going to come in this update. They said that hopefully this will be next month in update 14, which is unfortunate because root creator changes is something I've been wanting for a while now, but we'll see that hopefully next month. Now, something we are going to get this month in tomorrow's update is the team adventure changes. They've done a lot more rebalancing and kind of well rebalancing to the leagues of team adventure and solo adventure the ranked stuff basically what they've done is they've upped the average it used to be quite hard to get to league 10 in solo ranked adventure but now it's quite easy you can get there a lot easier they've made it a lot easier they've just rebalanced it enough chances are if you go and look at your ranked adventures you've probably been pumped up a few leagues so that's going to be good but that'll all come in tomorrow's update thankfully now, honestly, apart from a couple of random bug fixes, which aren't even worth mentioning, that's all we know so far. I think what's interesting about this update is they haven't added any features, but something that they've done to winter or spring seems to be pretty cool, whether that's a really new exciting car or maybe a new kind of event. I'm really not sure. Oh, my Snapchat's going off. Feature-wise, I've told you what we know, and car-wise, there's these six new cars that I mentioned, and we'll find out tomorrow on Wednesday what else they are adding. I'm sure I'll keep you all updated with the video while live stream, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I'm not going to waste your time, guys. That's all we know. Stay tuned for tomorrow for more information about potentially some more new cars this month that they weren't allowed to mention until tomorrow. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Foot 2004 content. And I'll see you all later.